at work in the woodshed preparing for winter. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jane and welcome to our channel Frugal Queen in France. We are Jane, my husband Mike is behind the camera, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and we live a thrifty, frugal and money saving life here in France. And every Sunday we share aspects of our lives with you. And as you can see, right now I'm in the woodshed, I'm splitting wood, getting ready for winter. Summer's not even here yet, and I'm getting ready for winter. But anyway, let's take a look what we're going to show you this week. Well, this week we are going to share with you what we got up to when we went on our thrifty and frugal trip to southern Brittany to a beach resort called Carnac and we stayed in an Airbnb and we got out and about and we do love to share with you beautiful Brittany and this part of France where we live. So get yourself a cup of coffee, put your feet up and enjoy the beautiful surroundings and everything we saw when we went on our trip. And I'll get back to splitting the wood whilst you're watching that. week I took you to see lesser known parts of Brittany, the bits off the beaten track. This week I'm taking you to see very well known and very famous Brittany. And today I'm here in Carnac in southern Brittany in Morbihan. And the most famous, it's probably one of the most famous Neolithic sites in Brittany, if not in France. Or whether it's megalithic or Neolithic, who knows. But anyway, it is the alignment, Les Alignments of Canac here in South Brittany. So without further ado, let's take you to see all the stones, all the alignments. We take you to see some burial chambers and all sorts of places here in Carnac in Southern Brittany. So 
so I hope you can see here right into the distance all of these standing stones and looking at all of them they are um, about a metre high and as you can see they are all in lines and they've all been put here by humans they're not here accidentally there go. there's one side and I'll take you right round there's Mike and the dogs there's more stones and here we go Okay, I'm now on down ground level. Let's move my camera for you. There you go. So there you go, they're all in lines. Don't ask me why they're in lines. Don't ask me when they were put here. Don't ask me how old they are. I will put a link below to an information site for you if you want to find out more about them. I think the sheep that are kept here for grazing are really cute all the stones of Karnak. More to come. in this tiny hamlet of St. Columban and as much as though it is absolutely beautiful. I think we've seen two of about 20 properties that have got their shutters open. So they're all seasonal properties and they are stunning. But nobody lives here and it's a bit spooky. It's May, you think that people would be here for summer by now, but it's all closed up. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed these beautiful old houses. <laughs>
just been to the tiny hamlet of San Columban. This is next to where we've parked to walk to said village. And here is the village fountain, the village water supply. So in years gone by, this is where they'd all have come to get their water. And you know me, I love a lavoir because I live in a village in France where the lavoir, the laundry place outside, is still used. And these lovely old stones is where they would have once scrubbed their washings. There we go, the fountain, fountain, the water source of Saint Colomban, just outside the hamlet, and the lavoir. village of St Columban, we showed you the parking and the fountain outside of Columban and we're now on the estuary so this is just absolutely amazing the tide comes in for miles and the tide goes out for miles and miles and what we have here are all the oyster beds and they are just there's we haven't been to this place for seven years and there are not so many oyster beds as they used to be we don't see as many oyster cellars as we used to see. I think so many people are eating them, which is a shame. However, they are really, really expensive, and that's probably why people just can't afford these type of things. So I'm going to take you to see them. I'm going to take you to see the oysters. I won't hopefully get caught because this is obviously people's business. So here we go. These are the oysters. See in here. There they go. In here are the oysters and they're in a kind of sack and they all get turned over, shooken up and all the barnacles and bits and pieces on them come off them and they turn them over every so often and that's what they do. And you can see them and it goes on for miles and miles and miles and miles. And near here are lots of oyster shacks which just sell oysters so you literally buy half a dozen or a dozen oysters and have it with dry white wine or cold rosé. So there we go, San Columban Beach and all of the oysters. that you enjoyed that and our surroundings. Everything we did on that trip when we went out and about cost us nothing at all. And we really like to share that with people and get out and about, take a picnic, go for a walk, go and see things, go and enjoy our natural surroundings. Now, if you enjoyed the video, go on, please give it a like. I love to hear from all of you. Give me some feedback on what you saw today and tell me, what do you get up to that costs nothing at all? And maybe, just like me, you're preparing for winter. What are you doing to prepare for winter? I know some of you have got gardens and you're preparing ahead of time already. And maybe like me, you're trying to beat inflation a little bit and get some wood put away for winter. Just leaves me to say on behalf of Mike and I, Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. And I'm going to get back to splitting wood. Bye for now.